Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Zelda Speedruns. Hope you're having a good Saturday. Today we have the, another Skyward Sword randomizer race. This is a group Elden race in the Ramlitz tournament between HarmJan387 and OFC2000 Alex. Tracking today, we have Crystal Bellis and Jade Minibu. And here on commentary, along with me, is Pac Man Power Ghost. How are you doing, Pac Man? Doing good. Back with the classic duo of you and me. I know, it's three days in a row. Um, yeah, so this is... Uh, talk about our racers. Harmjan has done one race so far out of his ten. This is Alex's first race. Um, Alex, you probably, if you've watched Wind Waker Randomizer, he's a pretty prominent name there. Um, started playing Skyward Sword... I don't know, around a year ago, something like that. Um, and Harmjan, uh, he played in the co-op tournament. I don't know if he was in season two, but he he was around a couple years ago, took a break and came back for this as well. Um, yeah, I don't remember him playing in season two. Yeah, I think he may have just done the co-op tournament, but he's... Uh, he has been around for a little while, but took quite a long break from from this. Um, so yeah, we've got the same deck. Yeah, we got about a minute till we're gonna start. So uh, any guesses on what dungeons we get? Uh, I'll do a classic Skyview Elden. No, sorry, uh, Et. What? Yeah. That what that could you? be a pretty pretty rough one. I'm going to guess uh, Sister and Sanchez. Oh boy. Um, Elden is my favorite, is my favorite <laughs> dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I think of Elden, I think of E.T. and they just, they just cross. It's because they, they both have the E. Like, it, it makes sense. Yeah, we've, we've decided to make the bet today about whether either runner collects uh, one of our meme items, the Mighty Scattershot. Um, if you're a sane person, you bet none of them get it, but uh, you never know. Yeah, so we are about to get underway, so uh, we'll see in about 45 seconds. Um, these settings, if you haven't seen them, so it's two required dungeons, uh, you're going to have to collect the level six sword, the true master sword, three pieces of the Triforce, and the heart. Um, so, tend to be on the shorter end. Like, I would guess this is going to be an hour 40 to two hours, but kind of just depends on how rando, if rando randos today. like both of our races are now started. Yeah, so let us see what the hints are. Central to Stanship. Oh, let's go. Elder Volcano to Molarak. LMF. We got Fungins. Sky's dead. Interesting, interesting. Village is dead. Classic. All one chat. Are they in line? Sword in the lower sand sea. That's not quite as bad. Sword and sand ship. Oh boy. Up a sky. Oh, Fred has a red whip. Oh my oh. God. Stupid's retreat is dead. The Skirbo fight has the Triforce of Power. <laughs> Gorko's a bottle! Ooh. These are some spicy hints. Uh, Alamut Bosky's dead. Interesting, interesting. <laughs> That's pretty stacked with hints there. Yeah. Lots of Gomode um, items hey. and lots leading to each other, so. 
Yeah, I think you're really hoping you don't need that bottle on Gorko to do Fledge's Crystals. Um, but with with Sanchep, uh, I would say you have a very high probability of needing to get that left. Um, I, I think as soon as you get two bottles, you're going to get it, and uh, you're really hoping you get your bottles early. Because that, that whip locks uh, six checks in Sanchep, which is half the dungeon. Um, I will say it's nice having all this information up front. Uh, like, knowing you're going to have to do Skirtle, knowing you're going to have to do Fledge. Um, Probably the one hit that the runners really wanted was a uh, R container hit, but unfortunately we didn't get that here for sand ship. Uh, that actually isn't in the settings. Um, oh. The R container. Yeah, I got removed. Why is that? Why did it? No, my bad. Oh yeah, no, it's uh. Oh, and... Okay, well, uh... That central skyloft to Tantalus? Oh no, that can't be. This is upper skyloft. Um, but... That's a nice bottle to have, because it lowers the chances that you're going to have to do the Gorko Goddess Wall for a bottle. Um, also, that bomb bag is really convenient. I think, uh, yeah, as Robo Jumper says, this is his joke, but Bomb Bag either appears in the first 15 minutes or the last 15 minutes. Yeah, yeah. So I like feels that way most of the time. Yeah. Uh, I might see some divergence in the early game routing here because of those bombs, but we'll see what our runners are like to do. Yeah, I was wondering if we might have seen someone do a really early Oriel and Pharaoh because with Central Skyloft hinted his path, um, you can get both of the Paro checks. It's not as good because Sky is dead. So two checks instead of three. But um, I think some runners would have the philosophy of I got hinted a path location. I have this bottle. I'm just going to get both checks early so I know. Because most of the central skyloft checks are sphere zero. Uh, we know the shed chest has something, and that could be our path item. Um, I would say it's not likely that the item on the bird's nest that requires your bellows and claw shots has something, but... Uh, it's not the worst thing to know early on if you're going to have to get that. Also, probably not crystals. Yeah. I mean, we'll see. Uh, we'll have to... I would assume not, but... No. Nah. We, we have seen one Remlet seed, I think, where there were uh, paths. Yeah, so Alex uh, tried to do the reverse waterfall cave dive and missed it. I think just decided to go down to Elven and check waterfall cave later. Um, yeah. Elven volcano to Moldrak at this point is probably either like a beetle or a gust bellows. Waiting on things to fall in place. Yeah. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Not a lot of your show in Alvin. No. But it, I mean, especially with the bombs opening up the upper part of Elden, it's not really a surprise we're seeing double Elden start. Interesting. Uh, 
Yeah, that is... Well, you can't get either thing in Volcano Summit, so those earrings are not so bad for now, but... Um... You only really need the claw shots, and then suddenly they have access to checks up there, so... Yeah. Um... That'll double mix, but... I assume that would be quite a ways away. Yeah, it's hard to know. Um, yeah, so we're seeing Alex here killing the entire app. Um, that one will troll you a little bit if you're not fast with throwing the bomb across the bridge. I think really the big thing we're seeing is just having the bomb bag makes clearing these checks in Elvin a little faster. Yeah, it is looking like we're not getting much here on uh, early Elden, and really nothing on early Central Skyloft. Yeah, it looked like a treasure and a rupee on top of the entrance to Magmatur. Have we seen much of Bowler's List in Bremlitz yet? No, not a lot of not a lot of runners are doing LF without fellows. I think because it's well, that is convenient. Um, I just think because it's kind of like it's kind of slow, uh, and there are so many checks. Like, Bellas with LMF makes sense if there's not anything else behind Bellas, but it's pretty rare for that to be Whether it's the Armos fight or the, the left side, there's two chests there. Very effective bomb use from Alex. Okay, I will turn down his audio. Sorry about that. Was that? That was Ballad of the Goddess. Okay. The value of Ballad's list really comes from if there is a small amount of pings, and depending on where the pings are, because if they're in like the first half, it's not very fast to do them, but if they're in like the hub room, it's generally a little quicker. Yeah. Even the even the fallows location as well, like the vanilla location in that room, is generally pretty quick. There's a beetle as well in Mogmatev. Yeah. I think we're probably going to see both runners climb up Volcano. Um, this is technically not in logic, but um, it is not too difficult to kind of stutter sprint and avoid the Bokos. Um, and if you're climbing, you can full clear Elden Volcano here. That, exactly, Robo. Logic is just a suggestion. Hey. Yeah, the bomb for a trick. Um, pretty standard in most cases. Yeah. When you I, have the bombs. Yeah. And uh, this is really getting past this first Bokoblin is the trickier thing. I think Alex might be trying to use the beetle here to scare him, run him off, run him off. 
Mm. Um, which wow. this is not technically a Maja. <laughs> Yeah, and it's the, the timing of that trick with with the beetle is a little precise. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen that been done before, personally. Yeah, I'm, I'm not very good at this stutter sprint. Okay, there we go. Did it pretty well, so. Yeah, you just have to time it right where you... Uh, you get to the that Boko as he's kind of raising Bob. Or raising not the, the raw. because uh, he will pretty quickly grab another one or just come back and knock you off. Oh. oh. Oh no, that's a little unfortunate for Alex there. Yeah, I think that's gonna warp him all the way back to the start. Uh, he'll walk back to the um, upper turf. Okay, that's not as bad. No, if it he just knows, means he has to climb up again. Yeah, I mean, if he knows the bomb throw trick, he might just reverse climb. I'm not sure if he does know it, though. It's, uh, again, a, like, kind of precise timing bomb throw. And you have to take into the account the fact that you get some input delay with your Wiimote. Yep. You pretty much want to time it for when the flashes become um, very quick. So you don't have like a flash, a flash, and another flash, and then you just, it just goes off, 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 and that's when you want to throw it. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's one of those tricks, I think, that's fairly consistent, but you don't want to YOLO it. Um, like a lot of strategies, I feel like uh, you can lose more time than you save if you YOLO it and just can't get it. But yeah, I mean, it's... Uh, Most of still the not... time it, so No, I'm just trying to think of like we've seen almost nothing here in in Elden so far with only the dig spots left. Uh, yeah. We have seen crystals. Oh no. <laughs> I yeah, I'm starting to worry. Like, we saw crystals in Central Skyloft, we saw crystals here. There's five more checks. We're gonna find something that's not crystals. Dolly. Um, there's more crystals. What I, was I, mean, what I was saying before was... The timing for most bomb tricks is generally at the end of the cycle, but some do have early cycles. Like if you wanted to open this bombable rock with the big spot, you'd have to like have it do one flash and then throw it. But... Yeah. The... It's, it's just one of those where if you, once you know the timing, it's pretty straightforward. If you don't know the timing, it's very hard to guess. got two more checks left in Alden, but so far we've only seen the crystal packs. Yeah, I'm uh... We'll, we'll have to see. Yeah, and this is really the, the part of Elden, I think, that, that doing it backwards for these two dig spots is a lot faster. Um, having to go around this way without claw shots is a little slow. Yeah, definitely. Plus, you can combine that with just um, jumping off to the side to like land on where the bridge is. Yeah. Uh, where Frill Digger is, and then get the other two rupee checks. Yeah. Yeah, I think sometimes. I mean, the other thing you can do too is just like 
with Bombag, even if you don't go the full way backwards, um, you can get these last two digging spots from the bottom because you can just blow up the rock and run past. Um, so even if you don't do the reverse bridge destruction, sometimes it's a little faster. To be fair, the ROT Goron City bomb throw is more about the timing of the pop than the bomb. <laughs> At least in my experience, I do a visual cue with the face on the front view of the cutscene. Well, that. So, uh, all we've seen in Elding so far through. 16 checks in Elden Volcano is Gratitude Crystals. So we're down to, this is the 17th check in this area. Either this has our path item or we have Gratitude Crystals. Um, let's find out. Let's scale. <laughs> All right. I, I think our runners are very happy. That is certainly very funny. I'm also kind of wondering now if uh, this is an overlapping thing where... Um, oh, Robo, I was not trying to wish it into existence. If this is an overlapping thing where our central Skyloft Tunnelist item is in the shed chest that is locked by the water dragon scale. And it's like Claw shots or something. Yeah. But this might be Alex going to do Boreal now. No. He is just going to go down to fair. I, I do get this. You can clear a lot of checks in Farron and Lake Floria. I think the the question of do you chase your hints or do you chase what the the high area high check density regions are. Uh, is tough. Oh, Alex. I think Alex will figure out that he has ballad and not harp though once he goes. And uh, gets into sealed ground and doesn't get the song for it. Uh, um, so I think he'll be okay. Or if he tries to do the Gorko Goddess Sword, Goddess Wall, for a second bottle. Yeah, he's Which, realized now. Yeah. Yeah, he just switched his tracker. Um, yeah, it's really, we're just seeing kind of two different routing philosophies here between the two runners. And I don't know that one is necessarily better than the other. I think Alex is hoping that it wasn't claw shots. That's probably like a bar. Yeah. Whereas Harm's thinking, eh, that's probably claw cool shots. I'll go do that. Yeah, I mean, for Path to Tenalus, claw shots are kind of likely. Yeah. Um, Interesting. Bottom yeah. So we'll see what's inside Shed Chest. Yeah, because that's our second to last item in this region and uh what have we gotten a bottle no the bottle wasn't there it's just the heart yeah okay Larry Cage. that's definitely our path items catalyst yeah. Uh, not gonna open anything up though. 
until we get cross shots. At least Tom has that in his back pocket for when he needs to go. Yeah. Alex will probably get it soon, but mm. we saw him get the mushroom spores here in Farron, which is a smart thing to do. Um, you don't have to go quite out of your way to, to get to Oriel. I think it is just more convenient routing on Alex's side. Less entries of regions. And there, there's our second bottle, uh, which means... Alex is not going to have to do Glucko. Um, the reason you want two bottles is you have to get two stamina potions for uh, to get Fludge's crystals. It's a lot faster if you can just buy both at once. I didn't see what was on the troth the first Patrol 30 item, but I'm guessing it was Chug. Oh, it was a bow. And a beetle. Another beetle. That That's actually... Beautiful. Yeah, those are... Um, chances are that beetle's not required or that bow. But those are kind of convenient items for harm to have. Um, the bow lets you kill enemies just way faster. And Hook Beetle does open some things, including um, the entire, basically the entirety of that map. Is the only logical access. I don't think whip is like whip trick is a trick. So yeah, it's definitely not a logic. Yeah, and so at this point, um, for our path to Moldorak, I think we're probably gonna have my my guess is we're gonna have uh, bellows here. Although, it could also be that Bellows are just in Sansi somewhere. It might have to be some way to get the fuck in that. I do appreciate the bug net. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't really do anything in these settings, but... There's, uh, there's our second mix in, in Beetle Shop. Um, that's actually really bad, uh, cause that does put more of Bacabla base in logic. Um, without, well, no, Whip is in logic too. Uh, mm -hmm. which I think means maybe the entirety of Boko base, except for that one Bella's lock check is now in logic. Yeah. Harm is not going to go get the whip until he gets the second model, but it does feel very early to be able to access so much of Boko base. Well, there's the Bellows, so... There you go. Full clear Bellows. I was full clear for Cobbler base, anyone. Oh, God. Oh, true. Great Tree is also in logic as well. Yeah, I... God, I don't know. I think I would do it. 
only because I've been burned by having claw shots locked behind the scale and bellows great tree climb. But like, you're not going to enjoy doing it. No. But I think Alex has seen some of those seeds too, and so he's going for it as well. Somewhat of a small time commitment though. Yeah, I do wonder... Well, see, Alex doesn't have the hook beetle, so technically LMF is not in logic. Yeah. Um, yeah, but like, if this is claw shot, it's going to save him some time because Lanier Mines is barren. Uh, so being able to skip it is nice. I, if I were in his shoes, I think I would be doing this and hating every minute of it. And there's there's definitely like confirmation bias. Yeah, Sludgeon, uh, mine is one of our three tinted Baron regions. Unless I got the hints wrong, but which does happen. Uh, it is one of them. The other one, the other ones are village and sky. So yeah, we got confirmation from Jade. So yeah. I feel I feel pretty confident that I got those right. Nice uh, usage of the slingshot to stun the Boko. Yeah. Oh. I don't think I've seen that before. <laughs> that roll bomb uh, into the other platform. That's, that is oh. definitely a new one. Uh, did Alex douse up? here or is he just going to climb and do the drop down? Uh oh. Looks like he's doing the drop down. Yeah. Uh, without bow, which makes fighting this moblin a little tougher. Get some insight on the Lanayru Desert on Han's side here. Yeah, he won't be able to get everything, but with his items, he'll be able to get, like, all but two checks, I think. And you can douse most of the chests here. So you do get a lot of information. Yeah, that's uh, four bottles that we know where they are. Oh. What the? I had not seen that before, but that's, uh, that is really smart. Oh. Oh, no. Okay. no. <laughs> Alex, you can run off. You're, if you're on the side, yeah, you should be able to run off and save this. Um, the, the jump to get on that tree branch can be incredibly frustrating. Huh? 
Okay, I haven't seen that either. I didn't know you could throw a bomb into the mouth of that Deku Mama. Yep. Ooh, this. Oh my god. Oh. Uh, so yeah, Alex getting super rewarded there. Um, That's crazy. Because it's going to allow him to bypass mines completely. Um, also, he can get into Sansi. Um, I think we're going to probably see him do Fledge now. Um, yeah, do some Skylock cleanup, do Fledge. And probably to one of his two dungeons. Yeah, he still hasn't actually... Uh, he still has the Mushroom Spores, I think. I don't think he's talked to Para yet. So actually, he's either going to have to burn the Spores or... Um, he's probably just gonna drink the spores. Mm. Yeah. That looks for gore. Mm. <laughs> yeah, with these items, though, he's gonna be able to... Uh, I think clear everything but Patrol 50 on Skyloft, which is pretty nice. 33 minutes into the seed. I force a final shortcut chest there. Yeah, it looks like that's the only thing in Fire Node, so. Pretty nice. Yeah, if if Alex goes to Petro, he's gonna have everything he needs to full clear Sancha. All the early Zelda room stands disappointed by the red ruby. In fact, um, yeah, we are. Except for Thunderhead, we are basically going to be able to full clear almost the, the entirety of the seed with the items that Alex is about to get. Because if he, he's clearly thinking he's going to go to Petro, so he's going to get his beetle, he's going to get a bow. He's going to get Harp on Oriel, I think, or on Paro. I'm not sure. It depends if he wants to go and get more spores and then come back. Yeah, he might. I mean, he might not now. Um, he might just decide I can go full clear the entire Lanayru region. So let me do it. The harp doesn't lock that many checks, so <sighs> makes sense. But like, this feels very early in the seed to just have so many items. Yeah, it's not very often that you have all your items to full clear your dungeons and like every region. This early. Yeah, because he's he's clearly about to go. Um. I think he's going to go do the shed chest as he is doing the rest of this. And I think maybe decided not to get more loose crystals. Um, yeah, the only thing he couldn't do was uh, call in. Um, I think that's only one ping for uh, the first half of LMF. Not sure if it's the uh, just before the Bellows Room or if it's one in the Bellows Room. Yeah, I don't know. It was on the that right side, though. 
I don't think it was on. There's anything on the left side. Nah, uh, I don't think so. But the right side is blocked by the small key, uh, and the small key could be, you know, in the back half, locked by bellows. Best case scenario for harm, it's just on the one that's past the uh, boxes. Yes, definitely. Yeah, I don't, I I don't hate harm entering like and doing this um, because it is pretty easy to check a few things in LMF and get a lot of items, or not get a lot of items, but get a lot of info. Oh, it's pinging. Ping. Alex is still collecting these. Yeah, I think he's just decided I want to full clear this. Um, yeah, I mean, Robo, you're you're right. Um. At the same time, like entering LMF and dowsing the first chest at least is basically free. Oh. Wait a second. The the item image was a feather and he got a gold skull. I'm sure that happens. Uh I just think that's the first time I noticed that. Yeah, I'm in the same boat. It's because it's the same type of rare treasure. I don't think yeah. I've seen it happen there, personally. Yeah, this is... Uh... Harm um, now, getting his whip. Yeah, I think he's probably going to go down to Farron soon. The question more for harm, I think, is is he going to is he gonna go into the great tree without claw shots? Um because having claw shots just allows Alex to do things a lot more efficiently. And also reach Sanchez, which is maybe the most important thing. If it was any other dungeon combination, there is ways around not having the claw shots, but since Sandship is one of our dungeons, he's gonna need it, so... Well, and we've got a sword in Sansi. Mm. Um... I... I shouldn't say this too soon, but it does feel like for a seed with these hints, it's actually been surprisingly kind. Other than the core shot location. Yes, that's fair. I feel like Harm's a pretty safe player. Um, but whether or not he chooses to go through the Great Tree and is hard to say. Yeah, it's it's definitely one of those moves that, like, if you have not seen the claw shots on one of three those three checks before, you may just think, oh, there's no way it'll be there. I'm not going to get burned by this. It'll be fine. Um, but I think everyone, once it's happened once, realizes, like, I don't want to get burned by this again. The only other place he can really go if he doesn't do it is his uh, broken base, so we'll see what he does after he's Farron and Lake Floria clear. Yeah. I, I will say, oh, that, like, Unlike because Alex, that angle. yeah, I say, like, I, I, have a reputation, I think, for doing loose crystals unnecessarily. Um, 
But like as far as routing these in with the rest of the things on Skyloft, I think this is actually pretty effective. Bye, Alex. Um, right, like there, you know, he knew he needed to go get beetles so he could get that one pretty easily. He he's known he's had to do some other things. Yeah. The power of loose crystals really comes down to if you can combine it with other Skyloft checks, and he's done that here, so yeah. So it's a perfectly fine application. Oh, he has, he still hasn't done Waterfall yet. I forgot about that. Oh, you can combine that with the other two crystals as well. Interesting. I don't know if he is. I think he might just be dazzling, but he probably doesn't want to orphan that rupee at the very end. Nope. And like, once you miss Waterfall Cave Dive once, in a seed you probably don't feel like, like you want to try it a second time. But he'll probably just grab this crystal here, because he's down here already. And I think that's 50 for him. I wonder what's actually faster there. Going back to spawn and then going to Petrarol, going through all the caves and then... I think it's probably faster to spawn because you have to reset the time from Betrayal anyway. Um, you're gonna have to reset time to leave Skyloft. But he's also chaining this with uh, Paro. And we'll probably see him do the Collins letter check after he gets the heart. So he can say, I've fully cleared. And like the, the great thing for Alex here is with these items, he can full clear every Linnea region. He can full clear Poco base. He can full clear everything but Thunderhead. So it's not go mode, but it is full clear mode. You know, Harm might just go back to LMF after he gets the bellows. Yeah, that's true. Exhaust his options in LMF as well. Yeah. Will be on Alex. Just, we'll see him with check. Yeah, we're gonna see uh, Petro 40 and 50. So I don't think Harm had 40 when he went to Petro. I thought he had 40 and then collected another 5. But... Oh, it could be. Yeah. 
Loose Crystal's not paying off there, but at least it's assurance that he doesn't have to come back to Petro. Yeah. And honestly, I think he'll be pretty happy with... Um, he'll be pretty happy with this beetle. Because for him, it means he can full clear Lanaru. Including like everything in Gorge, everything in Sansi. Honestly, the only item that we're really missing that's locking a check is a sword. So. Yeah. We don't need. And we know there's a sword in Sansi and one in Sanche. Like, there's actually surprisingly few items that we... Right, there's, there's one Triforce and one sword that we don't really have any idea where they could be. Yeah. It seems like these that put me on edge, because like, one routing mistake, one bad 50-50 choice can really decide a race here. Yeah, I I don't like scenes like this, where they're so open so quickly, for the same reason. It feels like, it feels more random. Um, it's definitely felt front-loaded. Yeah, I mean, we're 49 minutes in, and there's literally two checks that they can't get with the items they've got, I think, in the entire game. Right? There's Zelda's Blessing, which is locked behind True Master Sword. And there's one item on Thunderhead. And that might be it. I don't think either runner is going to be feeling good at any point during the scene because of that. What's even worse is like Sandship and LMF are kind of slow if you want to full clear. Luckily, uh, LMF doesn't have any pings, but if there's a ping in treasure room, like that's a big commitment. Yeah, I mean, the unfortunate thing about Sandship with these hands, like, I think Sandship, you're going to want to go mode in. But we know Sandship has one sword. And so you're not really going to be able to, and, and the bring check, we didn't get a hint for it. So you're not going to feel good about skipping that. Like, I think you're going to feel like you have to go, you're going to have to full clear Sandship. Um, like, best case scenario, the sword's on, like, the crest. Worst case, it's in treasure room, or where I wouldn't breathe, like... Yeah, I, I think if you don't... If you don't get many things on the treasure room, I think you at least think about trying to beat the dungeon and then go back and and bet that your sword is somewhere uh somewhere good but it's such a tough gamble to me um, whereas like lmf i think you're basically full clearing it no matter what um although i don't think 
I at least don't think that the shortcut chest or uh, we know the boss key is, is dead, but I don't think the shortcut chest in the back pinged either. Um, which is nice, kind of nice to know. And I think not surprising Harm Jam is going straight back to uh, clear LMF here. The information he has is pretty much his best play here. So. Yeah, I... I really can't fault him. Like I said, the, the claw shots on top of the great tree really is one of those things that until it happens to you, you just don't think about it. Or you, you just hope that it's not anything. I don't know if anything pings on the left side, but Harm Jan may also not. Oh, never mind. Um, I don't know if he knows the bit warp to bypass these two rooms, but with the ping here, you're at least going to check this one room. Yeah, this is uh, for the first time in a little while where and we, we saw a couple new checks on Skyloft, but some really new things now in the back half of the now. I'm surprised Tom doesn't know the uh, Academy bit more. Well, there's a there's a ping in this room, so he's got it at least in this room. Ah, OK. Yeah. This, this chest had something. And once you're in the room, it may just be faster to do the final room. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Um, okay. Blowing these platforms, uh, you always forget which direction you're supposed to blow. I bet Alex saw that thing and he's like, I have to go all this way for this shit. Oh, right, that was our Triforce. Okay, that, that was actually important. Couldn't tell if anything doused in this room. Uh, although, also from where you enter, there's a chest kind of directly behind this. Uh, this is one of those rooms where dousing can get kind of weird because of sort of overlapping chests. Oh, uh, that's our last sword. Um, very interesting. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, 
Just another reason that Harm really needs to get his claw shots. I, I think the question for him is, does he go back and climb the great tree? Or does he decide to go do Boko Base because it's more dense? Um, but it is also very true that like, Alex is just gonna move through the seat a lot more efficiently. Oh, there's our second slingshot. Um, so I think we will see at least one runner get the mighty scatter shot today. For those who, who made that prediction. A lot of people fit on both runners. Majority there, some bet on only harm gen. Yeah. Nobody bet on only Alex, which means uh potentially everyone's gonna be losing some precious channel points. Um I think Yeah, I think that's this chest here. Alex are reading his hand to remember if anything's on the boss key. And as far as like small key placement in LMF, that's not terrible. Um, you haven't gone all the way to the back yet, so it's easy enough to kind of run and backtrack to the small key locked areas. Um, the kind of worst case scenario is that the small key is on the boss key chest. Because uh, backtracking the entire entirety of LMF is pretty gross. Um, but yeah, so those chests on the right side, you have to douse them from the front rooms, not from the big hub room. I think he, I think he knows. Oh, so he is in the valleys. Yeah, that might be the Bosky chest or the Bosky. I'm trying to do this bomb trick. Um, I think moved a little too slow to hook, grab and hook the beetle. That should be good. Yeah. There, that is one of the few kind of tricks you can do with the hook beetle and bombs in the game. Uh, the blast radius for bombs in Skyward Sword is kind of massive. Um, there are some interesting tricks like where you can use a bomb to blast through a wall and hit a switch on the other side. Kind of looking like a whole lot of nothing in all that so far. Besides just having to clear the dungeon, which... Again, I don't think either runner is going to feel great about that, but... There's also kind of no way you could do the dungeon without full clearing it. With this, uh, with this layout. Short of some big... Yeah, I don't know, your best bet would have been just to come to the bells a bit early, but 
It's been hard to do that when you have the other two pinks scattered around. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, having three chests pink on the left side, um, you're probably not going to abandon them. Yeah, Froppy, I, I think that's... That is probably right at this point. Like, at this point... Uh, if you look at Alex's tracker, he's got 43 locations accessible, 53 remaining. Um, a couple of those are things that are specifically locked behind. So, like, he doesn't have the boss key or the small key in LMF. So there, there are, I think, six, four checks in LMF, two checks in sand chip that he doesn't have access to. One is Zelda's Blessing. Like, he's just... Alex is a much more efficient place to flip it. There's our first instance of the Monty Scatter shot. I think it's going to be our last, because Harm is not going to go back to look for you to get it, nor should he. As much as we appreciate the meme items, uh, strongly recommend you do not go out of your way. Flashbacks to yesterday's match. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> uh, if that's the case, uh, no, one's, no one's winning that bet. No one bet on only Alex, so. Yeah, I I don't want to. You never know, harm could go back for it. So I don't want to close the bet till the seed is over. But yeah, I think some people are losing channel points. Um, and interestingly, actually, nothing on the right side of LMF was required. It was all junk. Locked behind that small key. And the boss key is just here in the spike maze. Yeah. But, like, that's not a gamble you're going to take, I think. I don't know, like... You've got the statue that you can walk, death walk to, so it's not the worst thing. But I don't see that happen, happen very often. Now we just saw Harm do the uh, the backflip over the spikes. Um, it's a cool little thing in a specific area where you can, instead of having to run around the whole maze, just do a backflip. And the sand is tall enough that you will just go right over top of the spikes that normally will kill you. Yeah, Robo, I mean, the 10 loose crystals were not required, but definitely did allow Alex to full clear stuff more efficiently. Um, yeah, I think. Like I said before, once you've had the claw shots locked on the great tree one time, you tend to get suspicious when you get your bellows and your scale really early in the seed that claw shots are up there. Um, it's not necessarily a rational thing. Um, also, I realized that we missed our happy one hour. Um, definitely want to thank our lovely trackers, Crystal Ballas and Jade Minabu. Jade, who is tracking her second race today. 
Uh, and thank you, Pack, for co commentating with me. Always a pleasure. Anyway, looks like we got Tom going in for the older act fight. See how he yeah. goes. Yeah, this is one of our boss fights that uh, your sword level actually does not matter at all. I feel like I've heard someone say it's actually easier with a lower level sword. But I I don't know that. It's really all about getting the scorpion into the, up against the walls. Yeah, the, the first phase, if you lose a little bit of time, not a huge deal. Um, to do the quick kill on the second phase, though, you want the scorpion backed up against the wall when you finish phase one. Um, you now we see Harm using the shield pretty effectively. When you stun the claws, you can actually get two hits on them. You get a spin attack, and you see Moldorak is backed up into the wall. Um, which normally, if he's not, when you hit him in the eye, he will kind of go back and avoid another hit. But because he's up against the wall, you can just keep hitting him before he burrows into the sand. Um, I think it's one of the more straightforward quick kills. For bosses in the game. I say that because it's the one that I know how to do. I think the first phase is a lot more harder to get down. Or at least doing it yeah. quickly. Yeah, phase one is definitely harder. Phase two, I think, if you know that you have to get Mulder Act back into a corner, um, it's surprisingly easy to do. It's like one of those quick strategies you could have done in a casual playthrough completely inadvertently. Yep. Which is not a thing for most of the other quick killers. Not using the bellows to fake speed up the minecart. Uh. Oh! Oh! Uh, that is maybe even better for Alex. But that Triforce is there on the LMF reward. Um, because Alex is going to know where every item left is. So he's not going to have to go to Boko Base. He's not going to have to go to Thunderhead. Yeah, that could be really bad for Harm if he doesn't go to the Great Tree now. I think he's going to check Thunderhead first. Um... I generally give the robot statues high fives with the claw shards. That's just that's, that's my understanding. See with that or I could pull out the half and serenade on the minecart. Yeah, I mean I I think you're right, Froppy. Um I, I do think you're probably right that Harm is probably going to go to Boko Base first because he can full clear it. Because I don't think you actually need Claw Shots 
Nope. It just makes it a little quicker. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I, I really do think this is... He's probably in a last location great tree. Um... Oh, you know what? You can't full clear because you need claw shots to get past the P-hacks. So actually, oh, he might not go to Buckle Base. Um. So used to getting around the claw shot requirement with the, um, the two relevant tricks. Yeah. Well, and in Boko Beans, yeah, we just, people sometimes forget. Like, the, there's the chest, there's the area that can be whip-locked, but I, I always forget you still need claw shots. Yeah, this, like, Alex, I think, looking for some hearts here. Uh, yeah, this is just kind of unfortunate for harm. Like, uh, it's it's like I said, um, nobody feels good about climbing a great tree with just bellows and water dragon scale but once you've seen it once you just kind of it gets in your radar of like claw shots could be locked up here. and that's kind of the difference i mean that is the entire difference in this race Like, it puts Hanjin in a situation where he has to do multiple trips. You know, only does he lose time. For, like, going into areas. Yeah. Multiple times. Yeah, I mean... Having all shots late just slows down the reach of players as well, so... Yeah, because he's going to have to backtrack into, uh... Desert for that sword. Mind you, it's only one chest, and he knows where it is, but... Um, I don't think Harm Jam is going to be able to pee that scam. Because he came back recently, his Boko base was not part of the game that he was playing before. If you get one more check here, if it hangs. But, yeah. Um, nothing else in Boko Base is not for harm. I think he's got to be heading to, to Farron now. Because I just don't see what else he has left in Logic. Um, like, Betro 50. Maybe he's going to do first. I can't imagine him not going for Great Tree now. I I have to think that's where he's going because I'm just I'm trying to think of what else he hasn't done yet. Mm. Uh, sure enough. <laughs> that looks still good. Nice. Everyone does the minecart ride a little differently. 
I feel like I usually use the minecart ride to like think about what I'm doing so I don't play around. Mm. Alex is not quite in go mode because he doesn't know exactly where that sword or uh... he doesn't know exactly where the two swords are. But he does know where he can finish off the rest of the scene. I think if I were Alex, I would maybe do Sansi before I do Sanche. But I don't know. You've got to do both no matter what. Um, May as well go for the go mode opportunity in Sanche. And... Yeah. Well, I mean, you know in Sanche you're just looking for three items. Two items, really. You know you've got you know where the Triforce is. The other two things you're looking for are your uh where's your sword and and where's your boss key. Mm. So actually I think I would probably just do Sandship first. So you don't have to backtrack in Sansi. Well, uh Never mind. This is uh, <laughs> certainly uh, Alex's seed. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So. No. Okay, get hard. Don't enter flooded fairgrounds. <laughs> Expecting a bomb to be placed right in this chest. Or some slashes. Angry sword slashes tend to be pretty nice. Close enough. Yeah, I think he's trying to death war. Out. Yeah. This is why, at least, what I usually do is I will get the rupees outside of the tree first especially if this is my last thing in Farron because you can then just firewar yeah this really like everything's just coming up Alex's way to seed um It's just, it's just so funny that the sword was placed just on the edge of sand sea, so you didn't actually have to go across the sea. But, okay. Uh, he's not going to be able to mass escape. Uh, it looks like he's got a lot of things. Yeah. Which is not something you really want. Yeah, although thinking about how many items are left in the item pool, um, it's not quite as bad. Like, I think you're what you're praying for here, if you're Alex, is that you don't have to go and do the uh, the brick chest. Because that's really the one terrible check, terrible check in Sanchez. Like, would it be nice if you could do mass skip? Yes. Um, but you can douse the monster.
Oh god, Robo, can you even imagine? That, uh... Yeah. It would be very funny if that Painted Whip was completely unrequired. Oh. It's a little unfortunate. I wonder where Helm's gonna go. He's probably gonna get that. I think he's probably gonna get that sword. Um, That's good. And then I think head to Sansi. Mm. Like, he's not actually that far behind. No. It's, I mean, it's a couple minutes behind, but it, like, it could be worse. But yeah, Harm is going to see this and go immediately to Sansi. Yeah. Probably entering, like, two to three minutes behind entering Sandship. It's really going to come down to the players like dungeon execution and game execution and as well as like where they choose to pursue the boss key and strike force. I mean Oh I didn't know you could do that that slash there. Yeah I mean look like I think if you're harm the the best location for him for either the boss key or the sword of the Triforce is on the bridge check. Like, with what you can have, with what you have, I think you would even consider, if you get the boss key early, just fighting Tantalus first and hoping one of your items is there. Um, like, after you do Scarfo, after you check the, the, the checks that are not whiplocked, if you have a boss key. If your boss key is in the treasure room, I think you're going to full clear the dungeon. Oh, yeah. Because it, no it. it makes no sense to, to orphan the brig check. Or at least to, like, orphan the puzzle to open it. As, as awful as that chest is, or that check is, like, you don't want to damage it. Um, but yeah, I mean, stuff like how you execute the Skurvo fight is going to matter. Skurvo is not a particularly easy fight, necessarily. Especially if you do it shieldless. You just mm -hmm. have to be really careful. So it's not our moment. Yeah, like, Alex is certainly ahead in favor, but there's a lot of in-game execution. Turbo fight um, is one of the places in the game where having a shield is maybe most effective. Like, I think even in the all dungeon speed run, they use a shield for the fast shield. But that was a solid fight from Alex. That was hinted. We knew that one was there. Uh, 
I'm going to close out our prediction on Scattershot. Um, I, I can't see Harm Jan winning enough to go get it. Is that like three or four checks in the treasure room? Pinging? Oh boy. Yep. Yeah, with, with that many things, you're just going to do it. But Alex, well, no, I can't say yet that he's definitely skipping the mass. Because he might not, or the, not the mass, the brain. Did the, uh, the bar chest get pinged? Not the bar chest, the, um, the small key. The small key. It did. Yeah, we could uh, from from the from the deck. You saw there were two things that ping. Oh man! So I might have checked that first before doing all this. Yeah, I'm the, I'm the same. Like I would have saved at the statue, grabbed the check, and then go back for treasure room. So like if it's the if it's the boss key, you know, like you saw it on Talos, like I don't know. Yeah, I also think. I mean, I think the brig is probably gonna have nothing with how many things doused, and I think there's only one gratitude crystal pack. I don't think there's any bows left. There might be one bottle. It's like, I guess it's possible the treasure room has nothing. Oh. Yeah, we saw both runners fall off the masts there. You have to be careful uh, fighting the Bokos on top of... on top of them. Like, this is not a crazy gamble by Alex. Um... But it's gonna feel bad if you have to backtrack and do the uh, the second half of this puzzle. Get to the break later. I don't know. It's a pretty safe option. It doesn't really matter which way you go. Fifty at the end of the day. I just mean like if you have to come back down here to clear the break, it's just time. It's time spent doing that. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Beetle. Oh, interesting. Yep, that's... Yeah, I, I think we can mark Alex in go mode now. Because that's... That's his last sword, so... Not, he's not going for the Rebel and Brave. He didn't even do the second half of the puzzle. Uh, That's what I was saying. Is like, If that chest has nothing, it's not a huge amount of backtracking, but it's a little bit. But like I, I think this was a fairly well calculated risk by hand when you saw how many things were dousing. It just will be kind of fun if uh, this is our last gratitude crystal pack, and he has to It'd go also back. be the um, uh, what I'm blanking what the items called. It's it's for it's for the uh, spiral charge rocks. Oh yeah, the it's just the spiral charge. Yeah, like, that could be here, and then he has to go back and do the rest of the puzzle.
I'm in a church. There we oh, go. Be... He skipped yep. robot in the break. <laughs> Wants to, he could have done vanilla skip, but it looks like he's just gonna do it. Vanilla. He might not know channel skip, and uh. I know Alex has had trouble with channel skip in the past, so. Might not be confident in it. Yeah. Just fair enough. Yeah, and once you, that's one. Once you fail it once, it's faster. You just done uh, the boss fight. And it's a long boss fight, but it's also a fairly long bit sequence, if I remember. Yeah. Plus, who does not want to blow generalist like for real? It's it's true. Yeah, this kind of like Crystal saying, I don't think Harm actually, like, I don't think Harm played this team poorly. Um, it was just one decision that Alex made really paid off. Mm. And, like, really only the, the tune of a few minutes, but that was enough. fact about um, when the blowing of Tentalus was discovered. Me, Alex, and Jeff were in the call doing a casual race. We and I found that the Bellows was doing damage to like the tentacles when he was when the Tentalus was standing. So the first person to actually do the uh, Bellows strat was Alex, since he was the last one to finish. Okay. So what you found is is that the bellows did damage to like Kettles' hair. Yeah. This is so bizarre. The first <laughs> <laughs> Do it with the eyes. So that's the the emote is actually yeah, Alex. Yeah. Yeah. Are you gonna post the emote in uh, CSR chat? Yeah. I don't think I have a sub to you anymore. This is one of those funny little quirks. It's, it's not possible in the version that's used for speedrunning, but the Japanese one, you can only do it in the US 1.0 version. I assume you can't do it in HD either, because that's built off of it. Yeah. Okay. Jade, Jade saying only in TSC. Crystal confirmed. It is the like one of the weirdest things. Although not the only thing that they patched that we need to do. Right, because uh, if I remember, Sister and Cliff is only doable on the US version. Oh, harm for getting to get the boat before. Uh, so, losing a little bit of time having to come back. Wherever it jumps, but clearly it should be a, should be a feature in all versions. Yeah. Alex getting a quick shot here. That's maybe the easier one. Uh, this one's a little trickier. You have to kind of do a time play out. 
Wow. Unfortunately, it switches the uh, Head, head back to sealed grounds and finish off the seed. I'm gonna disable the sync between them. I don't know who's who's got some lag. Um, yeah, we see harm doing the second half here, um, which we know now was not required, but I think like we said with Alex kind of made sense to do when you didn't know what was left in the dungeon. So like Alex is on the parking table. And he's pretty hard to read. And this is so Alex's tracker, he has 32 locations remaining. Um, which for these settings is a lot. Uh, they they tend to require just about full clearing. a nice place to get an extra heart container at least for me i often need my fairy for this fight um, hopefully harm jan at least checks the combination lock chest first so he doesn't go all the way to the break Uh, yeah, we, we are a couple minutes away from Alex finishing up. Um, and I think, like we said, really, this whole seed came down to Alex getting those claw shots before harm, which just allowed him to really efficiently route through a lot of places. Alright, sometimes gambles like that just pay off. Yeah, that that is how Rando works. Um, also, again, it's one of those things where when you've seen claw shots up there once, you just get suspicious whenever you have scale and bellows really early that your claw shots are going to be there. And I think I was commentating a race where claw shots were up there and we were talking about this during that race.
Huh. Why is that not Yeah, I know. It looked like he was getting the, the three hits correctly. Uh, Oh, my character's weird. Yeah. Uh, phase 2 of Gary Game especially. You, uh... I think you so often... Your inputs all of a sudden just are not working the way you expect them to. Um, like, you try and jab and it slashes. I don't know. It's probably just a race thing, but... Gear him and Demise have ways of just acting. Your your Wii mode acts up, your inputs don't work. I missed the wrong friend. Is that a creeper? I was having a little trouble, but like, the nice thing about phase one is you're here, or demise. Um, if your cycle gets messed up, you can basically back slap, back jump, and avoid hits, and reset. He, uh, demise acts in very predictable ways. Pretty solid phase two. That is GG for Alex. Day 140-358. Um, I think just a pretty solid race from him. And Harm is pretty close to finishing up as well. He's going to get the boss key here. Think be a little sad, but looks like we have Alex in the waiting room. Yeah, welcome in, Alex. GG. Thank GG. you. Thank you. How you feeling, Alex? Yeah. I'm not going to talk about the execution. You could probably tell I haven't played a fair bit. But other than that, I think I got pretty lucky, honestly. So I had fun. I was like, yeah, I would say that. I don't, you're saying the execution, but I feel like you played pretty well from what I saw. Um, maybe, okay. maybe I was not paying close enough. I did die to a, uh, a Coblin up in Elden and had to okay. run up that slope again. There and, was that. That's fair. Yeah couple other things that were a little iffy but you know what that's all right like you had a pretty good skirma fight which is a fight i think that people struggle with a lot because it's just not it's hinted so you can skip it you know your boss fights look pretty good i don't know i didn't notice much that seemed like it went bad in game was very nice for me at least we'll say that yeah the item placements were very good for you oh yeah i mean that too hitting the because I, I when i got to the end of lmf i was like well shit i found nothing in here so far and if harm just to just go mode this then well ggs and having that triforce there kind of saved my ass i think yeah because that that put you to the point where you knew where everything was yeah exactly like i just um, rush yeah harm finished lmf before you and we saw that and our thought was that's really good for Alex. The I mean, well, if if Harm wants to come in, we'll talk about it, but like the difference maker I think in the seed was that you went for the claw shots early. 
mm, on top yeah. of the tree. Um, why did you decide to do that? Well, I was already there, and I could full clear Farron, and there wasn't much of a better time to do it, except for the uh, fuck the deep woods check. I will skip that check until I die. <laughs> but, okay. yeah, I was already there. I could get, what, I think there's three total checks. I forgot to ping the bomb lock check, so I need to go back for that at some point as well anyways, so I went in, did all four of those, got claw shots, and just left, so. Yeah, I imagine you have seen... You've seen in seeds where claw shots are up there before. Yeah, uh, it's it's pretty gross when it does, but I I can remember a couple pretty gross <laughs> seeds that have that happen. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's one of those things I was saying. Like, the first time it happens, you hate it, <laughs> but it makes you go and do that with with the. Uh, the bellows and scale more yeah often it makes you learn because it's pretty obnoxious to do but yeah and it's very finicky as well i will say yes like yeah it. it's it's a confirmation bias thing like it's not true that every seed where you get scale and bellows early that you have claw shots up there oh yeah, but you feel sure. like it you feel like every seed you get those early Trying to think what else. Oh yeah, we we've got to ask about the ten loose crystals. Uh, Robo Jumper wants to ask about that. Yeah, uh, I wasn't like the smartest play to be honest. I was kind of need to go back for a waterfall cave. Another early execution mistake. I didn't want to leave it behind, and considering it was a path location as well. So I was like, you know what? I'll just grab crystals along the way, just because it get to fifty. Patro wasn't hinted Baron, so Patro probably has at least something that's blocking the Baron something helpful and it turns out he was the bow but still so yeah not my smartest play I wanted to route it in with other um, Skyloft stuff at the very least yeah I mean it definitely helped you like with that you I think full cleared everything on Skyloft in one go I think um, I left behind the um, checks in Academy or the one check in Academy that I didn't okay. have art for at the time but yeah. yeah, it was a lot. So you got pretty lucky. Yeah. Um, like I think if you're doing ten loose crystals, routing it the way you did with a lot of other checks is a solid way to do it. Yeah, I think I would it skip the uh, what? What's it called? The West Bridge one. I would skip that one and just get the two down there instead of just the one down near the uh, waterfall cave. If I were to do it again next time. Well, hopefully you won't have to do it again. Exactly. Again. Right. Usually, Remlets, we start with so many crystals that lose crystals is kind of a mistake. And, I mean, again, it was this seed, but, yeah, for routing purposes, you know, for other tournaments, it would be interesting. Um, trying to think, Pac, do you have any other questions for Alex? I'm trying to think if I have anything. Um... Tell us, skip. Yeah, you know, I don't know how. Oh, okay. Never learned. I thought you previously knew. I thought you previously knew it. That's no. Nope. Whoopsies. It's one of those things. It's like it's super long. It saves, you know, fifty seconds or whatever. It's like, eh. I don't feel motivated to learn it. Today yeah. it would have helped, for sure. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely one of those where. If you know how to do it, uh, it can save you time. But if you don't feel great about it and you make a mistake, it feels terrible. Just one mistake and it loses your time. Um, yeah, we're just seeing Harmjan finish up Tantalus now, so he's a few minutes away from finishing. Um, I think we'll we'll stay and see if he wants to chat. Um, okay. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Oh, uh, in Elden, mm -hmm. before you got that last dig spot, how scared were you that you were getting Crystal Path for Metro? Mm -hmm. <laughs> before you got I mean, the scale on the very last check there. If I'm being honest, I don't think it was really on my mind. I kind of just 
knew something in Elden was path. I hadn't been keeping track of what I had found where. Okay. So my my head was empty, and I was clearing the checks. Is the best <laughs> way to describe it. <laughs> it's not a bad way to play. I think too much about all my hands and what the path items are. Um, so I would have been like, before getting the scale, very nervous that that was that it was pointing me to something required on Betrayal. What was Path to Tentalus from Elden? Was it the scale? It from was uh, Moldorak Path. It was the scale. Oh, it was Moldorak. Okay. Yeah. Okay, then that would make sense, yeah. Yeah, RoboJumper in chat is saying he, he liked your Ten Loose Crystal play and how you weaved it in the Skyloft full clear. I, yeah, Thank I you. think I agree. I think... Five loose crystals is pretty easy to do quickly if you think you need to. Ten loose is really hard to wrap. It in. takes a lot more time. And 15, <laughs> don't do 15 in Remlets, everybody. Public service announcement. Here. <laughs> Public yeah. Service announcement. <laughs> if, if you're getting the loose crystals on Lumpy Pumpkin in Remlet setting, something has gone horribly wrong yep. on every level. Yeah, like if you didn't miss Waterfall Cave, you probably would never would. I don't know. It's just because you had to go there anyway that... Yeah, exactly. It it was nice to do and route it in, so... I didn't have a problem with you doing 10 loose crystals. I thought it was a fine play, just to get it out of the way. Yeah, a little unfortunate that I uh, immediately go to... What is it? Lanayru and find crystal pack after crystal pack, which, I mean, to be expected at that point. There's nowhere else for the crystals to be, but it still feels a little yeah. rough. Yeah, and I can't really say whether... I could tell you that I like the, the crystal play, but uh, I'm a known enjoyer of loose crystals to my detriment, so I can't really talk. Fair enough. Um, Luckily, it didn't really come into play. As yeah. Like... Yeah. If something had been on bat 50, you would have, like, it was a solid play. If something had been on bat 50, you would have been looking even better. Was it Async 1 that had that issue? Where there's something on Bat 50? Yes. I remember. Okay, that, yeah, I got burnt in that seat because I went in with 40 or 45, so I barely didn't have enough, and I had to go back. It's rough. So I was like, you know what? I, I got 10 loose crystals that seed in two separate goes. It was, it was gross. Ugh, yeah. I missed the jet in that seed. Same. Because I don't know the sky, the sky view uh, bit warp, so. Um... Yeah, I don't have anything else if you don't have anything else for us, but uh, Harm is just finished up phase one of Garyheim. Okay. Um, so we'll yeah. definitely stick around to let him finish. I got nothing else. Well, congrats on the win and GG's, Alex. Uh, thank you, thank you. You don't have to stick around if you don't want to. All right. Yeah, I guess I will... Uh refill my water and pop out then but thanks right. for the interview thanks for the restream i appreciate it yeah all right see ya bye yeah um having a little trouble here with the phase two this is the one where Garyham can be a huge troll but there we go gets three hits Should just be able to get one more cycle. But, um, yeah, I think he, the gap kind of ballooned out at the end as Harm full cleared Sandship, lost a little time doing that. Um, didn't quite do everything with the boat that you need to to get the puzzle quickly. Uh, but Sandship is a hard dungeon to route if you don't know that the brig chest is dead. So uh, it does happen. Um, I want to check.
And yeah, harm now in demise. Thank you, stream. We're we're losing some frames that happen sometimes. Uh, ooh, hopefully, gets through this. Doesn't take a death. There's phase one. Oh, I did not know with Hylian Shield, you can actually block the lightning attacks and parry them so you don't take damage. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I actually don't know how to like defeat the bots without doing the cheese like, quickly. Yeah. Um, phase one, you use your shield a lot to basically open up Demise to get hits. Um, I think it was earlier this week, uh, Flash showed off really effectively how to get Demise into the stun lock just by like slashing and any time he goes at you, shield parrying. Um, but yeah, Demise is a tricky fight if you don't know the cheese strat. I don't know. I like the sword, the strats. So it made it a lot easier to do the shield strats. Yeah. There we go. All the pieces are coming together. Yeah. And yeah, I think got some of the uh, stun locks in phase one there. And. There's the stun lock in phase two. Um, oh, he missed. And oh, I think you might be ahead. That might be why. And there is GG's to GG. harm. So right, a two hour hours. finish? Yeah, wow. I think may have hit time a little early, but um, not going to make a huge difference. Um, harm is not going to come in for an interview. So I think that may be it for us today. Um, there. I don't know if it's going to have a restream. We do have a race on the schedule for tomorrow. Uh, Firework versus Redrail in the same Elden group at uh, 3 o'clock Eastern time in the U.S. Um, thank you to our lovely trackers, Crystal and Jade. Um, GG's to our runners, Harm and Alex. And thanks for commentating with me, Pac. Do you have anything else you want to add? Other than being my commentator partner. Thanks for that. Uh... Nah, I'm good. All right. Well, we are going to then raid over to ZSR2, um, where they've got a MMR race. Uh, but thank you, everyone, for watching. Have a good Saturday night or uh, Sunday morning if you're in Australia, like PAC. And we will head out.